Hello and welcome to today's SAP Business One video on Chart of Accounts. Today I'm going to give you a high level overview of how the Chart of Accounts functionality works within Business One. Business One is a very gap compliant system, meaning everything needs to be linked to a GL account for tracking purposes and auditing purposes. So it is a very cool feature within the system. You can see here I'm logged in as a finance manager and this is my finance cockpit. And if I look at my workbench here on the right, there are many documents that I can access with just a click of a button. I could access a journal entry, or a journal vou voucher, excuse me, a journal entry, or financial reports. What's also nice is it has my chart of accounts here on the bottom left. And if I click on the chart of accounts, it populates the chart of accounts within Business One. You can see here that it's very clean, it's very organized. And I have all my different types of drawers here on the right. So if I want to look at li liability chart of accounts, I can do that. If I want to look at equity chart of accounts, I can do that as well. And I can see all the GL accounts associated. Business One adds two extra drawers just in case you have to configure or customize your GL accounts specific towards your business. So that's a nice feature to have. I'm going to go back into my assets here and click on my level one, which is my title account. You can see that business one provides up to 10 different levels, which is very nice. However, most customers I see probably use, go up to four or five levels from a GL account standpoint. If I clicked on level one, it just shows me my title. If I clicked on level two, it gets into more specific information. So these are title sub accounts. If I click on level three, Here's the title for our posting accounts. And then if I click on level four, these are the actual GL accounts that you can post to. So you can see how specific it gets from a GL account standpoint. Let's highlight, excuse me, let's highlight a GL account. And to the left, this is where the GL account information is plugged in. You can configure this based off of how your business runs, but this is the basic information that you can populate. What's also nice is the balance feature and if I click on the drill into arrow, it shows me all postings specific to this GL account. I'm going to click on my view fit column width so it's a little bit organized to see. And you can see everything from debits to credits. If I slide over here to the right, different amounts and the specific branch it's associated to. So all the information you need is just to a click of a button. If I needed to, I can click on the specific document and view that document. So if I click on the original number here, drill into arrow, it pulls up the journal entry and I can see the postings based off of the GL accounts that it applies to. And Business One automatically populates these journal entries for you on the back end when you do a transaction. So that's how it is very gap compliant and easy to see. That concludes my video on chart of accounts within Business One. Thank you for listening.